Hey everyone, this is uh, Jahan, the Gangsta Guru, the Forever Optimist. Today I got a little uh, special treat for you guys. We have an interview with one of my beautiful and shining, amazing students and one of my own personal healers. Um, well, I'm gonna let Elena talk about that. What have we been, you know, tell, tell us a little bit about who you are and what we've been doing here, Elena. Hi guys, my name is Elena and I'm a Teta Healing Practitioner. So for the last couple of weeks, we have been meeting with Jahan for Teta Healing sessions um, to work on his heart condition. So let me tell you a couple of words about Teta Healing and how it works. Teta Healing is a technique that helps access a person's subconscious mind and, um, oh my God, I screwed up. No, you didn't screw up, keep going. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, um, so yeah, enter the person's subconscious mind uh -huh. to find the reason of illnesses, problems, or any issues he's unhappy with. So during the session, a practitioner like myself enters a theta state um, in which his brain operates at theta waves of a low frequency. So in this, mm -hmm. it's, um, it's a state of a very deep relaxation, kind of mm -hmm. meditation, mm -hmm. uh, when a healer connects with the creator of all that is and receives information mm -hmm. um, beyond uh, conscious awareness. Okay. Okay. So next, uh, all our memories, beliefs, and feelings are kept in our subconscious mind. Uh, some of the beliefs we are not even aware of, and some of them are not even ours. They come from our ancestors. Mm. That's um, some Carl Jung stuff right there. Yeah. Collective yeah. subconscious. Yeah. By the way, collective subconscious is there too. Also, our ancestral subconscious and our genetic conscious. This is sounding like Avatar kind of stuff. Um, like yeah, connecting to the memory of our grand, you know the interesting thing is that we breathe the same air as our grandparents. Yeah, of course. It's, yeah. it's recycled air. Yeah, and Silent we also keep all the information uh, which our ancestors had access to. So, so, you, so yoga is really in my blood? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so next. Um, okay. Uh, so yeah, being connected to the creator. I can see and hear beyond uh, physical borders, and I can dig out um, the negative limiting beliefs from a person's subconscious mind. Mm, you've gotten to mine. Yeah. Um, so, but we, we're going to keep it a secret. <laughs> your, your negative beliefs. Okay. <laughs> what? Mm. I have negative beliefs? No way. Everybody has. Everybody has I'm negative a yogi. beliefs. I meditate. And, uh, we have so many beliefs that we are not aware of, mm -hmm. and yet these beliefs affect our everyday choices, um, and they also affect the situations and people who we attract into our life. Mm. So, there's, mm. yeah, so anything that happens to us is something that we attract it with our beliefs. Mom, you should have hugged me more. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that too. Uh, and so about illnesses, about physical conditions, because we have been working on your physical conditions. Um, yeah, that's right. Because Teta Healing, uh, with Teta Healing you can work on any issue, money issue, anything that bothers you. Mm -hmm. So, and it also helps to find the reason to physical illnesses. And most of the time a physical illness is the result of a negative belief in the, in the subconscious mind. Yeah, you were saying really, really, interesting insightful things about my heart condition and as many of you guys know I had a heart attack in 2015 massive heart attack troponin levels were up to 44.7 nearly 50 times the normal um, range doctors were literally looking at the report looked at me and says how is this how are you alive how did you go through that level of pain I had one doctor tell me it was as if your heart was jumped in an alley by 10 dudes, and 10 dudes were kicking and stomping on your heart. Mm -hmm. That's what you experience in the heart. Um, really great doctor. So when you started to go into my heart and started to go deep into my emotions, what Did are some things? Did you feel it? Because sometimes people feel it. You, you know, they feel it's like something's happening there. I don't know if I, I felt something. I felt so something, felt not, something, not necessarily in my heart, but I felt, once you started working on me, I felt, a calmness come around me. Because that's I felt the happy. state. Mm -hmm. I, I felt happy that I was, I was, happy, I was happy I was getting attention. Like I felt like someone is giving me attention mm -hmm. and it felt loving. It felt like you did it in such a way, she did it in such a way that was so soothing. And 
I mean, I don't know if I was like, oh, mommy, but I was just like, ah, oh, a friend, like someone is going in and doing something with my pain, and that made me feel better. I'm a very social creature. Um, but what else can you say about my heart? You, you mentioned some insightful things about why people get heart attacks. It's a lack of what? Well, it's um, some malfunction uh, of receiving, of being able to receive and give love. Mm. So it's uh, the core chakra. It's where we store our love and feelings and emotions. So if something is wrong with the heart, this means that something is wrong with your love. Mm. It's either you are unable to give love or receive love. Um, it has to do with emotions. You know, and that's, that goes with a lot of Geminis. Uh, that goes with a lot of Geminis being able to give and receive love. I even read my horoscope, it says, I don't even know if I trust myself. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Well, we, it's because of your traumas, because we all have traumas mm. um, from childhood, from previous lives. So, yeah, that's what Teta, teta Healing helps to identify. Those, those traumas. Those traumas, yes. Going the wounds, right at them. The wounds we have, the wounds we carry from, from many years ago, from this life. Because um, we keep information about this life and about seven previous generations. Okay. So it might be either in this... Because most of the time, yeah, we, it happens in this life, in childhood, and also in any other life you might have had before. Okay. So, uh, Elena, thank you for that. What, look, going forward, yeah. what are some of the things that you'll be doing to treat me? And, and we'll showcase this on another video. What are some things that you'll be doing besides looking at those traumatic issues? What are, how do you think I'm doing? Where do you think I am with my prognosis and where you want me to be in my healing? Um, I think that you're doing really well and because I changed some of your negative beliefs okay. um, and uh, most of the time uh, when the belief is gone, yes, when the negative belief is gone, mm -hmm. uh, the disease is also gone because there is no ground for this disease. Mm. So, mm. but it doesn't happen all the time. So it would have been too easy for us because we tend to hold to our diseases because um, sometimes um, we have a benefit. And sometimes mm -hmm. we have a personal gain at mm -hmm. being sick. Uh, so what that means, uh, sometimes a disease helps us um, feel special, feel safe, or something else. So because of this, I have witnessed, I have witnessed some instant healings when people let go of pain easily. Mm -hmm. And some people did not want to heal that quickly. I mean, on a subconscious level, because of course, consciously, they deny. They say, I don't want my knee to, right. you know, to... I, I don't want to experience this pain, uh, but when you dig deeper, when you access their subconscious mind, actually you, you find the benefit there. Okay. Uh, yes, and uh, so just uh, let me tell you about the core negative beliefs many people have. Uh, it's I'm nothing mm. and I'm a failure. Mm. So some people come and they say, I cannot achieve this, I cannot start my own business. Of course they cannot if they have a belief oh, yeah. that they the are failing. Yeah. I, had, yeah, I had a student yesterday. I had a student that was taking yoga class last night and I walked over to her in the middle of class and I was inspired and I said, you are you are doing an amazing job. I'm so proud of you. And she said, oh, thank you. But I'm so fat I could barely do it. And I turned to her and I said, no, you're doing it and listen to me. I'm not going to let you label yourself. I'm not going to let you label yourself. Okay. Do you hear me? She said, yes. Okay. I said, you're doing an amazing job and you're a beautiful yogi. She said, thank you. So we go out every day and we label ourselves and don't even know the harm of those labels. Yeah, of course. But those labels, they come from a deep sitting belief they have mm. in their subconscious mind. So of course, uh, this person would, well, she would not be happy with herself if she, if she thinks she's nothing or she's a failure, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And actually gaining extra weight, um, also that comes from lack of attention. When, per, when a person wants to, you know, um, he, he doesn't, when he feels small, mm -hmm. you know, he wants to be bigger. That's why he gains subconsciously, that's the reason why he gains mm. weight. He wants to be bigger, he wants people to notice him. Right. That's why he's gaining weight. Wow, wow. Well, thank you, Lena. We have so much to talk about Theta Healing. Elena is so amazing. She's working on me, and I'm learning so much from her. Uh, let's say about muscle testing, because uh, next time uh, we can show 
how to do a muscle sure. testing. Yeah, because um, it's a really a powerful tool of uh, theta healing. You can do muscle testing of your body to see what beliefs you have there. And you will be surprised. Awesome. So stay tuned for more information on theta healing, yeah. muscle testing, and overall wellness, nutrition, urban enlightenment on our channel. Subscribe below at Gangsta Guru and weight loss. That's right. Yeah. Overall, yeah, of course. And uh, subscribe below at Gangsta Guru. Uh, go to yogaxl.life for more information from myself and from the beautiful Lena over here. And uh, reach out to us. Any questions, comments, feedbacks, sharing. At the bare minimum, if you like the information in this post, feel free to share this on your Facebook feed and Instagram with friends and family. We appreciate all the love and support. Thank you so much. Namaste. Bye-bye.